What up guys, I'm back at it with the tips and tricks. Did you know when you kill a baby dino in the wild, it drops a ton of prime meat? Here, I'm gonna get a little bit more than I should, only because I have high melee. But nonetheless, it gives you anywhere from like three to like 10. Did you see what I did there or did you miss it? In this game, you can cycle through your inventory through your hotbar, which is pretty cool. I enjoy this change a lot because I always hated having to put my spyglass, my canteen, and whatever food I'm eating on my hotbar. Now I could just cycle to it whenever I want through my inventory on my hotbar and be perfectly fine. So now you just have to hover over whatever you want to put on your hotbar and then just press the corresponding button and then it'll place exactly where you want it. I like this change a lot as well. It's a nice quality of life change. This next one, I'm going to be showcasing the quarter ceiling and the quarter wall. These are some interesting building features that came into the game. And with the walls being higher, you can actually make some pretty cool starting bases. I'll show you one. I've been using this starter base quite a bit. Don't forget to use the quarter walls on the side so that way you can snap the quarter ceiling right here. I like to put the refining forge right here, the smithy right here, and then the mortar and pestle right here. Also like to put my bed right here, secret door outside. And a little chest right here make sure everything is accessible and you're good to go for this next one i want to show you how the map pin works you go in your inventory you click the little map icon up there on the top right and then you can actually set a rally point anywhere you want and then from there it will just literally tell you where you have to go so I'm going to set a rally point right here. See? And then from there, I'll be able to see it. And it stays there the whole time. Another thing you could do is add pins on your map. So that, that way, if you ever have trouble finding something, you can pin it. And then you can activate it whenever you want. And you can disactivate it whenever you want. Now I can see where the metal mountain is. It's pinned right there. And now I'm going to turn it off. Also, another thing I forgot to mention is now the shield and the chibi do not share the same slot anymore. As you can see, this pet slot right here is for the chibi. So now you can have a chibi and a shield at the same time. For this next one, you guys want to know if Swamp Fever gives you movement speed or not. So I'm going to chase after one of my friends who does not have Swamp Fever while I do. And as you can see, I'm faster than he is. Like, comment, subscribe really helps my channel grow and it keeps me posting even more. Help me get to 500 subscribers.